families in Springfield are in need of home repairs. The problem is they simply can't afford it, but there is a program that can help with that. Nancy Williams is the Partner Services Director with Habitat for Humanity, mm -hmm. and a grant was recently awarded to help fix some of these homes as well. So first right. of all, thank you for being here with us thank this evening. And what is the Creating Healthy Homes program within Habitat for Humanity? Well, Creating Healthy Homes is what we call the grant that we've received from the Federal Home Loan Bank of Des Moines and our partner uh, for the process is Guarantee Bank here in Springfield. They're the member bank and we're considered the sponsor for the grant. And what it does is it allows us to, for 40 households, we can help them hire a contractor to do pretty major rehabs on their home. And it's gonna be um, work that's really geared toward health and safety issues and, and major preservation of the home. So it might be replacing a roof that's leaking, it might be replacing an HVAC system, it might be replacing electrical or plumbing systems. So fairly major, you know, replacements or upgrades. And these are big ticket items too they that are, are yes. pretty costly to replace. Right, right. And that that's the great thing about this year's grant. This is the fifth year that we've had the grant or the fifth time that we've had the grant. It's actually a two year grant. But the, the dollar amounts that the Federal Home Loan Bank wants to put into these grants rises every time. So this year, per household, the grant subsidy is $18,750. And a little bit of that comes to Habitat and a little bit goes to um, some fees. But um, over 18,000 average per household will be spent on these repairs. And it so was that's a, a chunk. Total of $750,000, yes. which was awarded. So yes. yeah, that does service a lot of people in our community as right. well. What right. is the health risk if some of these repairs aren't done? You know, I get so many calls from folks whose roof is leaking and it's been leaking for a while and now they have mold and, you know, or, or sewer lines, you know, that, that aren't working properly anymore. That's, that's pretty horrible to deal with. Um, windows, you know, we can do several, with that amount of money, we can do several parts. So let's say that we need to do removing the old knob and tube wiring or disconnecting that so OCAT can come in and do weatherization for the house or, um, you know, just a lot of things that will really affect the health and safety of the household, the energy efficiency of the house. Um, so the impact that we're having, and this might be for an elderly widow, say, or a couple. So we're not maybe affecting an awful lot of people in those 40 households, but we're affecting that property for their lifetime, basically, and allowing them to stay in that house. And that's the whole thing be behind affordable homes, you know, is, is um, keeping them in their homes, making it more efficient and, and, and uh, financially stable for them to live in that home. Let's talk about that process mm -hmm. of submitting an application for, the, uh, right. for these home repairs. What does that process look like and what is required of the homeowners? We use the same application for all of our repair programs. This is the biggest one, but we've since 2011, we've had um, different types of, of programs. Um, maybe they just need a porch rebuilt or maybe they, they just need a, um, windows replaced, mm -hmm. you know, so something that won't make the level of this grant but um, we've got other programs that will help with that. So we use one application, they fill that out, they complete and send it back with income documentation because that's one of the eligibility criteria is that they're below a certain income and that they own and occupy the house in Greene County <coughs> and that, excuse me, <coughs> and that they, um, it's not, it can't be a mobile home and, um, uh, Basically, it can't be a contract for deed or rent to own situation. Gotcha. Um, but once they've turned in that with their income documentation, we look to see what they need done, what their income is, what part of town they live in. All of that kind of goes into our decision on which program might fit them the best or if another program in Springfield might fit them better. And there's one program where you're actually looking for applications, and that's yes. the home buying program. Right, and, and people think of that kind of as our traditional Habitat program, because it is. That's what we've been doing here in Springfield for 30 years. And we don't have enough qualified applicants for that program. And um, we really need folks that are, for say a family of three, between about 17,000 and 45,000 in annual gross income. 
And same thing, they give me a call, I mail them an application packet, they can fill that out, uh, get it back to me, and we do use a committee for that process. Um, the committee goes through and evaluates the applications. Um, we're a fair housing lender, so you know we follow all the regulations that we need to, um, but this is the way that we can help folks get into a home that may not be able to get into a home any other way. Um, when we sell them the house, we do uh, charge 0% interest on our loan, so we don't charge anything basically, um, and we cover the closing costs. So um, there's very, very little upfront cost to them. Um, so we're really looking for folks that have some sort of need for a home, have the ability to make those monthly mortgage payments, which may be less than what they're paying in rent, and uh, also that have a willingness to work with us because though we can work with people that can't go into a bank and get a loan, it's, it's a more difficult process sure. in the sense that they have to work on the house with us, they need to take a series of homeowner education classes with us. Be a and part of the yeah, process. Yeah, yeah, so they, they put a lot of effort into it, but then they get the house probably below market value and with that 0% interest loan. And so, how can they apply for this? If they want to give me a call at 417-829-4001, and my extension is 105. Okay. But if they do have specific questions, I love to talk to folks, too. Okay. So. Just ask for Nancy Williams yep. with Habitat for Humanity. Yep. Thanks so much for being here Thank today. Thank you so much Tell for us more about these on. programs. We Thank appreciate you. it. We'll Thanks. be right back.